hey YouTube so these are the final patch notes for um, 10.19 or for the PBE uh, before Faith goes live at 10.19 which will be this Wednesday September 16th so let's go take a look these are live on PBE right now so if you want to see what the quote unquote like 10.19 is gonna feel like this is what it's gonna feel like so let's dive right into it sorry I can't zoom in on these really but let's try to get into it okay so balance changes assassin crit damage got nerfed at six and oh they only did like a slight nerf so at one at two and four it's the same but at six they nerfed the crit damage by 10 percent and crit chance by five percent I haven't seen too many six assassins. I feel like at most it's been like mostly like four assassins. So I think this is fine. Um, although I haven't seen as many mage comps, so this could be a reason why they probably nerfed it. But okay, I'm okay with that. Um, Galio nerfed that three and uh, AD nerfed that three. His HP is nerfed at six. And his entrance percentage, when he comes in and ult, well, no, I guess ult, but like slams into the arena, um, his damage is increased by 10%. So, I mean, some nerfs, all, a couple of nerfs for his AD and HP, but his, um, when he comes in, he has, has a, l a decent amount more damage. So, yeah, that seems reasonable. Um, <laughs> Dazzler buff. Uh, from 4 to 12 to 5 and 15. Probably because, you know, it's a lot harder to get, um, what's it called? It's a lot harder to get 4 Dazzler since Cassio is no longer Dazzler. So I think the shooters are fine. I haven't seen too many, as many of the Enlightened Dazzler Morgana carry comps. They're still pretty good, they're just not as strong since Cassio is no longer uh, another easy Dazzler. Hunter. So they baseline the Hunter bonus damage. Um, it is now always 175% at 3, 4, yeah, I think 3, 4, 5, and 2, 3, 4, 5, 2, 3, 4, 5, yeah, 2, 3, 4, 5. Um, frequency of the bonus damage, though, got changed. So, instead of 3, 3, 2, 2.5, and 2, it is now 3, 3, 2, 2. So, what two hunters got buffed? Oh well, no. Uh, I'm sorry. Three hunters got buffed. I would say two hunters got relatively buffed for the most part because the bonus damage is now increased by seventy five percent. But you do have to wait an extra half a second to proc the hunter damage. So that's fine. At four, Jesus, I can't count. At four, it got nerfed to. It got at four and five. It got nerfed really badly in terms of damage. So screw it, Pelios. <laughs> I've I've already played a, I've played a few more games of PVE recently, and I've just been getting screwed over by Felios. I hate that champion so goddamn much. I hope he's getting nerfed again. Um, Keeper, I think that he forgot to do a couple of stuff, but the the bonus the shield from Keeper nerfed that two. And buff that six. I think that's six. Huh. I mean, I haven't seen Keeper really run. What's it called? I haven't seen Keeper do that well. More Dark said it's probably best to just put your Keepers together. You don't have to buff everyone with the shield. That's not exactly. Like, you don't exactly need it to be positioned like Rebel. Maybe just, just your Keepers be close together, but we'll see. Um, Shade bonus damage. Nerf that. Three and four. Sure, I, it's definitely probably meant to hit Zed because I know I remember I was in more dark stream and he said they're nerfing Zed. I think Zed is definitely a little bit overtuned for right now, but that's fine. Sharpshooter, uh, nerf that, nerf that two and buff that four. Nerf that. Okay, so five percent off at. What? Actually, no. This is a buff. No, no, no. This. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is a buff. Um. 
Yeah, so actually, no, this is a buff. Um, 70, 50, 30, uh, 2, 4, 6. Now 65, 15, 35. So 2 and 6 got buff. Okay, sure. Um, I just tried to do a couple... I tried to... Re I retried Vayne as a carry um, with 6 sharpshooter. She was okay, but I didn't get full perfect item, so it's it's all good. Um, so yeah, that's fine. Mystic... Mystic nerfed at 4 and 6. I haven't seen anyone try 6 Mystic. I really want to try 6 Mystic, but I haven't gotten the chance to. Um, I don't know. I don't feel like... I don't feel like Mystic has been too strong. Um, I know I've seen it a couple times, maybe like the Enlightened Dazzler call maybe, or like, I don't know, maybe like a Ninja comp or something. But yeah, I don't know, I haven't seen it be too strong. So, hmm. Um, Fiora, her um, total mana cost got buffed by 10 so she will, she will all a lot faster and since she's enlightened that's pretty good nami nami mana from 60 out of 90 to 40 out of 80 and spell damage got buffed by 25 on all one star two star and three star so that's wow and it seems like i'm trying to uh bur bur bleh bleh, i can't talk right now I'm trying to buff some of the uh early enlightened minions minions champions because Fiora and Nami do feel a little bit bad at the beginning, like stage two. Once you get um once you get the six enlightened, they'll do pretty good, but I like two enlightened feels pretty bad, so I think that's fine. Twisted Fate damage buffed at one and his okay. So they buffed him by fifty at one star, but they nerfed him at three star. I haven't seen anyone try to do three star TF. I saw a screenshot, I think where he did crazy damage with, like, IE Jewel Gauntlet, but I don't know. I haven't seen 3-star TF be that, like, be a thing, so who knows? I don't know. Pro they probably have data supporting this, so that's fine. Annie, HP buff by 50. Sure. Aphelios, mana, 75 out of 125 to 120 out of 180. Oh, my God. <laughs> They just I don't I don't know if that's the right solution. They probably think it is. Um I I don't know. I'm not sure if that's exactly the solution to Aphelios. Making it so that he can't use his have his turrets be as strong. Or not having as many turrets. I don't know. I still... F I don't know. I wish they hadn't... I wish it was a lot easier to nerf Aphelios, but... He's just a really stupid champion right now. So we'll see. Hecarim spell healing buffed at 1 and 2 star by 50. Sure. Um, Janna... Janna nerfed by 10, man 10 total mana. Okay. I... Sure. Um, it's... She's... She's... Pretty nice mystic and enlightened, so sure. I can see why. Jax, armor buff by 10 and armor buff by 10. Sure. Uh, making him a little bit more beefier. Because usually I would say in the duelist comp or like divine, he's relatively decent tank. So making him a bit more tanky is nice. Teemo. Nerf. Blind duration got nerfed by 0.5 seconds at 3 stars. Spell damage. Also nerfed at 3 star, and his spell damage per second got slightly nerfed at 3 star. I haven't seen 3 star Teemo also. I mean, I maybe just haven't really tried him yet, but... Sure. <laughs> maybe with, like... Spirit Sharpshooter is actually insane, but we'll see. Um, Zed, okay. Nerf... Slight nerf at 2 star. 10% spell AD steal nerf at 3 stars, that's good. Um, bonus magic damage hella nerfed. Holy cow, they <laughs> they hella nerfed his bonus magic damage. Okay, sure, that's fine. I think that's totally fine. He's, that is pretty damn strong. Three costs, Jinx buffed at one, two, and nerfed at three. I haven't seen people really try to go for three star Jinx. I know she's a pretty nice. Sharpshooter overall, but... Hmm, okay. Sure. 
all good changes. Lux, buffed at 1 and 2 star by 50. Sp stun duration nerfed at 3 star. Okay. Again, I haven't seen, like, I haven't seen too many of the crazy th uh, different 3 stars, so I can't really comment on those. Um, Vigar spell damage. Buffed at 1 and 2 star by 50, but nerfed by 50 at 3. That's fine. 3 star Vigar is still going to be an in pretty damn good win condition, so I think that's fine. Makes them a little bit better and balanced early game. Sin Jiao, AD buff by 5, armor buff by 5, and attack speed up by 0 0.5, 0.05. Um, sure. I haven't, I tried to do Sin Jiao carry, I don't know, I don't even think he's, I don't think he's a carry. I think he's just an overall strong, uh, warlord duelist. Just an overall decent unit, so. Sure. Yumi, healing, nerf that 2 and 3. I saw, um, I think it was in Mortdark stream where someone had a 3 star Yumi with Rabadon, they can like instant heal someone for like full HP, which is kind of nuts. Um, so I think that's a good nerf. Um, Ash, they nerfed her spell 80 per arrow by 5%. Yeah, I think that was, I think they were getting a little bit too ridiculous with the Ash buffs. Um, 3 star Ash, 300% attack speed bonus, sure, make her an actual viable win condition. So I'm all for that. Ari, nerf, uh, buffed her total mana by 10. That's fine. Um, I saw more thugs. Everything's great. on more thugs. Jesus Christ. But um, he, I mean, I, I tried. I did 6 mage Ari. When I attempted her, she did really well. Because she was actually able to ult. When more thug tried to use her, then it was like unsuccessful. She could not ult to save her life. So that's fine. Gen 80 nerfed by 5. I was playing in a game just now where there was like a lot of sharpshooter players. Two of them had Jin carries. One of them was able to get 3-star Jin, probably after the other Jin player died. So 3-star Jin is great. 1 and 2-star Jin feel really bad. Even in cultists and like even with like a sharpshooter comp. He just feels really bad. I don't know. Probably they have data to support this, but yeah. Zidrani mana buffed again from 60 to 150 out of 150 to 50 out of 130 again really good changes let her ult faster or sooner um yeah shen shield duration up by three to four seconds sure shen feels a little bit bad as uh like he can he can tank fairly well but the shield just like goes away instantly whether it's because everyone is like killing him really fast or because it really just does not last that long Talent spell bonus physical damage buff that one nerf that two and buff that three Sure That's fine. Um Talon's pretty damn nice carry. It's kind of like Aurelia, but now as an actual assassin in this set. So sure Fine, um five costs easy Spell damage buff spell damage heal spell damage and heal buff that one and two star by 50 sure that's fine Kane, Shadow Form from 60% bonus damage to 75% bonus damage. That's great. No one, I'm, I'm pretty sure no one uses Shadow Form, so I think that's good. Spell damage buffed at 1 and 2 star. Yeah, sure. Kane feels a little bit of an underperforming 5 cost. Sure. Lee Sin, spell damage buffed at 1 and 2 and 3 star. I didn't realize his spell damage at 3 star was really low. Huh. Uh, secondary stun duration buffed at 3 star to 10 seconds. Really funny. Um, sure. Lilia mana from 100 out of 150 to 75 out of 125. That's good. Lilia doesn't seem to be able to get her ulti off, so it's fine. Set. Spell damage percentage buffed at 1 and 2 star. And splash damage buffed at 1 and 2 star. Really? I feel like Set, I mean, maybe it's because a lot of people are running Set, just because he's a cool champion, and um, just an overall cool unit, but I feel like he's doing fine in terms of damage. I don't know. Maybe he is slightly underperforming, which is why they buffed him slightly, but I don't know. I feel like Set's pretty fine balanced unit, but anyways. Zillion heal, nerf that 1 and 2 star. I forgot Zillion healed. I just remember, I just know him as GAs, as another GA, so, huh, sure, 
I suppose. Um, okay, cool. These are the patch notes uh, that are currently in PBE. Again, 10.19 will be live on Wednesday, September 16th. So, good luck to everyone. Have fun with the new set 4. Um, yeah, thank you everyone so much for watching. Again, links in the description down below to more Dark's Twitter. The, what's it called, the uh, tweet for this post, for the patch notes, and of course the link to the TFT official TFT Discord. Thank you everyone for watching. I will see you all uh, in Fates. Take care.